Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I am your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome back to Elden Ring Walkthrough. And here we are at the Stormhill Shack site of Grace. And I'm going to take a crack at the Crucible Knight on this on the Stormhill Lever Jail. And then, if I don't beat him, or if I beat him or not beat him in, a, in one try, then we're going to go ahead and start Stormvale Castle. I'm going to give myself, like, one or two attempts. And, because I don't want to take too long, because I don't want to get started on Stormvale Castle. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna head down here to the Storm Storm Hill Ever Jail. It's just not that far. I'm not gonna worry about the wolves. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and take a crack at the Crucible Knight. The reason for that is there's going to be a Crucible Knight in Stormvale Castle, and we're gonna encounter that. So I better make sure I'm ready. He can easily he can be parried. Oh, I don't have my dagger on. All right, let's do this, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put on a, I'm gonna put on a fire grease, flame on, and let's do it. Let's see if I can parry with this dagger. Oh, I got it. Yep, parry is the way to go. All right. Can't rely on pairing all the time because sometimes like I have trouble getting the timing down. So we'll have to do. But I know the, I know the move sets. Mistimed it. That's okay. You can also jump when it does its ground stop. Now phase two, he does the aspects of the crystal, like this one, and then he also does the tail swing. My buff wore off, that's okay. Oh, and that tail follow-up is hard to avoid. Come on, give me what I need. That's right, get over here. Oh, that follow-up, though. Alright. There we go. This time I saw that follow-up. That's why I didn't attack. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's trying to troll me here. Yeah, you better. you might want to get some distance if you want to heal. Does the same thing again. Well, oh, this time I, this time I got it off in time. Ah, I missed. Careful. That's the that's the double white sweep. that. That was a good good dodge. Oh, couldn't avoid that. Alright, get some distance and then heal because he will run you'll do a running thrust. Come on now. Good dodge. Got him. Crucible Knight goes down, and we get aspects of the Crucible ta the tail sweep. Defeating this Crucible Knight, we get a, we get an incantation called the Aspects of the Crucible. It's the tail sweep that it does. Yeah, it's hard to dodge the follow-up attack when it's in second phase. 
And what a way to get warmed up is by defeating the Crucible Knight. Well, it was a tough fight, but it made it look so good because it's free real estate. <clears throat> and you know what time it is, right? It's guitar time. Hit it. Yeah, I decided to take on the Crucible Knight here in the Sever Jail, because I, I felt confident that I, may, I should be able to beat him. Because I know there's going to be another one I'm going to deal with in Stormvale Castle, so just thought I'd use this fight to get myself prepared. So now we're going to head to Margit the Fell Omen Grace. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Welcome to Stormvale Castle, our first legacy dungeon. And now the music changes. I like that. Here we have our opening side of grace, right in front of the main gates. Before we go that way, we're going to go around here, because there's some items to pick up. Here we have a fur calling figo remedy. Alright, then we're going to go down here. Alright, let me remind you guys that... <clears throat> yeah, you notice how my voice sounds. I'm, I'm all stuffy because I'm still getting over feeling sick. So that's why you notice how my voice is all stuffy throughout the past several episodes. So please excuse my voice, how it sounds. Yeah, the having the flu sucks. Here's the train is literally over here. And then in order to get out, there's a pathway here. And this is also a good hiding spot for players who like to hide when whenever they get invaded. And it would take us right back to the entryway. All right, now we're gonna go in here, and here we have an NPC. C come over here, won't you? you? You, I would have it time to the guard you breach. So this is Kate, so this is Kate Keeper Gustak. For just do what he says. Yeah, you're just I. <coughs> just do what he says, because there's going to be a bunch of loot to grab as, as we, if we take the safe side. Because if it, if we take the hard road. There's going to be a bunch of guys in ballistas. That's going to make it difficult. It the God, you slip. Yeah, your type. All right. So you choose whichever path you want to take. All right. You can see there's an item over there. We'll get to that. So we're going to go jump up here. Here we find some ruined fragments. All right. Heading over here jump up and now we drop down here and now we're about to face another new enemy the stormhawks these stormhawks are armed with blade with so with blades on their talons and see, if you look closely you can see how you can see how restricted their wings are the way these stormhawks had their wings restricted so that they cannot fly too high they cannot fly away And oh yeah, these t these stormhawks can drop their warhawk talons. Here's let's grab this grace. How can there be back to back so many pools? <laughs> I just saw one over there. All right, we're gonna go this way. There's gonna, we're gonna go this way. Deal with another stormhawk. There's a couple stormhawks here. Yeah, the Stormhawks are, are, are annoying to deal with. You die. Now we gotta deal with the other one. If I can lock onto it. Yeah, sometimes they're hard to hit. They're worse than the bats. Stormhawks. Alright. Now heading over here. There's an item that we just saw moments ago. And that's 10 bolts. Now we're going to go take this path. Alright, you can see a couple storm stormhawks in the trees if you, look, if you look closely. And there's one down there. So, let's see. The grace is just right down there. But it's a one way. But we want to get that item. 
So be careful when it comes to dealing with three of them. Unless you manage to pull one at a time. So, time to turn to my trusty bow. Time to turn to my trusty bow. And piss off one of them. Alright. There we go. We only need to pull one at a time. There we go. These Stormhawks can drop fly pinions, and they can even drop Stormhawk feathers. Alright. Now let's pull the other one. Hmm, he it did not like that. Here it comes. Ouch. Now we can now we can deal with this one. And here we pick up a spinning stone three. Now we're just gonna go up here. <coughs> go ahead and go ahead and rest at this grace. All right, let's put let's put my let's put my bow back up. All right, now this right here gets a little tricky because we have now we have to deal with these exiled soldiers. One of them is a whistleblower, and it doesn't matter how stealthy you are, it will still you will still it will still see you and blow the horn. Now here they come. And these exiled soldiers are doing the Stormblade. They're Stormblade Ash of War. And right over here is a Golden Rune too. Over here we have a couple Aristocrats. Double kill. Alright. <clears throat> There's nothing here. Before we go upstairs, Let's just go down here because there's another exiled soldier. That the one with the great axe, the one with the Highland axe, has a little more health than the other ones we faced. So we're gonna wait for it to turn around so we can get a backstab on him and then go for the finish. Because there's an item he's guarding. Alright, let's go over here. Creep on through and get a backstab. That finished him off. Here's a fun little weapon, the hook claws. If you like to use fist weapons, the hook claws are pretty nice, and they do they do build up bleed. They have bleed damage too. All right, now be careful over here because we have these commoners throwing fire bombs, and they will hit the explosive barrels. Let's get let's set, let's get them to set off these. I just avoided that. Just avoided the ex a fiery explosion. Go. Get him over here. Alright. This guy tried to shove me, but a little too late. And up here we find some St. Trina's arrows. Ten of them. Now the St. Trina's arrows, they will build they will build up sleep. They build up sleep damage. Here's some throwing daggers. Alright. You can choose to go this way, but be careful because you got that one over there. Gonna throw a fire bomb to set up these barrels. Quickly grab that item and pull back. Let it blow up the barrels, and then you can move in. Ouch. Get him out of the way. Break these. This this one's this one's sleeping on the job. Take him out. Alright. Now this door down below. Oops. <laughs> so, oops. Alright, as I was saying, now this door right here is locked. However, oh, but there is an item over there, but I will be picking up in a little bit. Let's grab that so that I don't forget. It's down here. And that's some golden room too. We'll make our way back up. Sometimes it can get dark in here regardless of the time of day, so I turned on my lantern. Now, inside this room, we can we can open this door. Now, once we go in, a scripted event tends to happen. We get locked inside! And you hear a snickering sound. Somebody locked us inside. And now we're trapped with a vanished knight! Watch out. 
Yeah, Advantage Knights are tough to deal with. Yeah. It appears that Gatekeeper Gestock was was following behind us and decided to play a trick on us and lock us in and, and lock us in behind the door. So yeah, we can't get out. Oh, actually, we can actually open the door. And he oh, nice, picked up a Banished Knight armor. Now inside this chest is the Curved Sword Talisman. Now the Curved Sword Talisman. This will in this will make this will allow you to deal more damage when you do guard counters. And right here is the rusty key. Now this rusty key, it does not open this door because you can you can still open it from in, from where, despite the fact that it closes behind you. But this rusty key is actually useful to proceed. This is the key we need to proceed, and we can now open this door. And this will take us to a ladder to climb up. Alright, we're not going to go this way yet, but we're going to go over here, deal with some of these guys. There's an item over there, but we cannot reach it just yet. Let's deal with that fire bomber. Let it throw this one and then move in. Oh my goodness, that was close. A glass shard. Here's some fire grease. There's also another item we're going to be picking up down the road. Now this one lying in the ambush, if you turn the corner just barely, he will try and do a grab attack. But if you roll, deal with them. Alright, now this there's, there's one sitting on the job. It's gonna get a backstab just like that. And here's the silver pickle foul foot. Silver pickle foul foot will temporarily increase your item discovery. It's a consumable. Alright, let's turn this off because we're now back outside. Alright. As you can see from far away, that is the chapel of the chapel of anticipation. Where we where we all where it all began. But down the road we will be coming back to that place. Alright, now we're gonna head up here. <clears throat> now but be careful because there is a banished knight just up there. I'm going to wait for it to patrol, and then once it turns its back, I move in for the backstab. And I better heal up, just to be safe. Okay, turned around. Let's move in for the backstab. The Banished Knight set is pretty nice if you like to, if you like fashion souls. All right, before we go down there, we're gonna go up here and activate the Grace. Better be safe and sorry. All right, let's activate this. All right, now we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go grab. We're gonna find a way to get those two items. Okay. So now, so now, if, if you look down here, there's a safe way to drop. So just align your drop and just drop. Don't jump, just drop. Now heading over here, you can see some planks. You're able to safely land on it if you align your drop correctly, like this. And here we find some arteria leaves. All right, can't, can't, let's see. We can actually jump on, okay. I can actually just jump on here. All right. And, and oh yes, and we can also jump onto this platform. And over to the left, we find an exiled an exiled soldier. And another one. All right. And over here is a is a fun weapon called the brick hammer. Need thirty one strength to one hand it, but it's not it's. It's not really that good, to be honest. My opinion. Alright. 
now you can use this opportunity to warp back to the side of grace you just don't you just don't get locked just to avoid this run back but I'm just gonna run all the way back up so you can get an idea from where we are Now this elevator shortcut we will be picking up, but before we do, we're going to go jump over here because there's an item to pick up, and that's some drawstring fire grease. These are like a these are like a quick a quick buff. This applies to quick buff, but it doesn't last as long as the standard. But it's like you know if you're if you're in the middle of a fight and you need to buff quickly, the drawstring fire grease just instantly lights it. Let's rest up, spend my runes right now while I still can. Alright, gonna level up my endurance just a little bit. Alright, next we're gonna go out here. Look how big this map is. Let me grab the summoning pool. But before we go this way, there's also an upper level to explore. Wanna make sure I got as much covered as I can. So we're gonna go up here deal with this exiled soldier in the with the spear and shield. Ouch. And another one with a crossbow. Alright. Let's jump on here and get a, a jumping R2. Hmm. Smithing stone and smoldering butterfly. They can actually... They can, they can drop their gear too. They can actually drop their gear. Alright. We got that. So now let's head around. Deal with this other guy. And just out here, by staying crouched, we won't alert these that are sitting down. And that one up there with the with the flame spear is the, is the whistleblower. So get a back get a backstab on him. Here's the golden root too. And let's deal with this one. And then we have two over there, and one over here. They're all sitting down to the job. Let's see if we can get both of them with one charged R2. Double kill! Alright. <clears throat> now the path kind of branches out when exploring the tops. The, ca the castle rooftops. Alright. We're going to head up here. Be careful. We're gonna go this way. Oh, silly me. Wrong way. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna jump to this one. Jump to this one. And then we're gonna jump down up here. And then make a drop down here. Find a stone sword key. Now this storm the storm hawk right beneath us is a masked one. This one will deal will deal will spew fire. Got a good plunging attack. This one will spark fire at you because of its mask. Let's take. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a good closer look. Yeah, you can barely see that little tiny mask. It's worrying. And right across is a new emote called Dozing Cross Legged. All right, nothing else over here. So we're gonna go this way. Gonna go this way. All right. Over here, we can just jump on here. <laughs> jump on here, damn. Unless I went the wrong way. Unless I went the wrong way. Yeah, I probably did. Alright, so it's back this way. So it was this way that I should go. Just gotta follow the message the player messages. If you're playing online, these messages may actually help you out too. Sometimes. Circle around. Because there's an item over here. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made, guys.
<laughs> wow. I was supposed to jump. Silly me. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way back to our roads. Okay, let's try this again about my little mishap. <laughs> Alright, I'm supposed to jump over, not run to the side. I thought it was just a easy run, and that cost me. And here's the smithing stone too, two copies of them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's one thing fun that you'll enjoy about my series, is watching my mistakes were made moments. But hey, as long as you find this entertaining, you know, can't complain. Alright. Now we're going to go up here, and jump this way, and then there's a bunch of exiled soldiers, three of them over there, one sitting down, let's deal with the three because they will shoot. This one dropped the Stormhawk Feather, Mushroom. Now we can deal with this one that's sleeping on the job. If you deal with this one first, the other three will begin to shoot at you with their crossbows. Alright. Nothing around here, nothing around the back. <coughs> now, now we can climb up this ladder. And there's a, and this is a good spot to get some flight pinions. Your best chance is to use an AoE attack. An, an AoE spell. That deals damage. Because once you set foot up there, quickly swing, and the birds will fly away. Double kill. Got two feathers, though. And here we find the Claw Talisman. Now, the Claw Talisman will enhance your jump attacks. Whenever you do your jumping attacks, you will deal more damage to that. Let's see if I can make this jump. It can be done. Just gotta get a good running start. Yes. Ah, that's okay. Gotta get a few feathers, though. Alright, next we can just drop down here, and, alright, we can just drop down here, take us back to where we were. Let's go back to, let's go back to the Grace. Okay, now back at the Rampart Tower of Grace, we can now go this way. Alright, now we gotta deal with the Stormhawk. This Stormhawk will carry some explosive barrels, so be careful. Hmm. If you have a hot potato, you can try and set it off. Or a fire arrow. I should have a fire arrow. In fact, I have 20 fire arrows. Let's use a fire arrow and set off that and set off that barrel. Boom! Yep. Alright. Let's see if we can set it off from here. And I can't get a shot at that one over there. I can't get a shot at that one over there, so we'll have to we'll have to deal with it. Now be careful. It's gonna toss it at you. And now we can fight it normally. Stormhawk Feathers. Alright, we're not going to go that way just yet, so we're instead we're going to go this way. There is a there is a drop-down point right here. It's safe to drop. If you're not sure if, it, if the drop is safe, just toss a rainbow stone down below. And if, it, and if you hear, if you hear a, a loud crack, it's lethal. Let me show you guys. I need to craft some for myself. Alright, let's see if I'm in position. Let's toss one of these down. Now, if it shatters like that, it means it's lethal. It's not safe. It's not safe to land. It's not safe to fall. To just drop down. So, it's lethal. But, if it's safe... Watch this. If you hear that sound, it's safe to land. Alright. Alright. We're going to go down here and pick up the marred wooden shield. This is the shield that the exiled soldiers are using. All right. And I'm just going to go down here. There's no loot up here. Now, 
If you see this rock right down there and land on it, you'll be able to land safely down below. If it's not, then you'll just fall to your death. It happened to me before when I was doing when I was trying to help another player. And as we drop, we find a crystal lizard. Get it, 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 get it
And now we're going to head down this way. Over here. <coughs> oh, there's an item. Golden Room 2. And there's also an item down there. So I'm going to drop this way. And it's some cookies. And then our, our only way to go is through this window. And it takes us into the chapel. And it's a safe zone. No combat zone. And here we find Sorcerer Roger. Ah, nice. The pleasure's mine. I'm looking for a little when I'm not hot-footing it. But enough about this place. Not exactly a place I'd... I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. You can see it then. Well, I'm tarnished. But, on still, I'm privy to... Would you care to look as a fellow Tom? He has three Ashes of War to sell. And if you like to do a Spellblade build, these are some interesting Ashes of War to go with. Carrying Greatsword? Hmm. It's more or less, but... These are more suitable for Spellblade builds. Alright, so we're done here. Alright, now we're going to go out here, deal with a couple of these commoners. Now just up ahead we have a banished knight and an exiled soldier. They're patrolling together, so it's going to be tough trying to separate them one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Ah, I hit the wrong one. I meant to hit the soldier. Or backstab him. Ah. Got the soldier though, and I got the banished knight. Oh, nice. I got the banished knight helm. Altered. Yeah, that was no joke. And uh, there is also a ladder here you can climb down from. But you will also be in the path of these two, of these two guys. Alright, now in here, let's put our lantern on. Here we find a golden rune 2, two copies of them. And then heading over here, but let's look around. Mm, nothing interesting. Alright, heading over here. Now over to the left, there's an exiled soldier with an axe. And there's a shiny over there across, and down below is a crafted scion. A mini boss. We're not gonna go down there, but the, we will find a way down there. Alright. Now in there there's a banished knight patrolling. We can actually bypass it by going around this way. I'll show you. And there's just an exile soldier to deal with. And some gold pickle foul foot. Alright, let me deal with that banished knight as it patrols. Ooh, nice! I got the halberd. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> it was actually from the bookcases. <laughs> that felt weird. Now here's a chest that's, that's a fun little item to have. It's a Mimic's Veil. This allows you to transform into an object within the environment. <laughs> pretty nice pretty nice item to play hide and seek. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Head around here. And if you're a mage, you can you can do some pop shots on the banished knight from here. All right, here's a ladder we can climb. All right, and down there there's a banished not a banished an exiled soldier. But let's look around here before I do anything else. All right, we're good. So we can now get the drop on this guy. Right, and right over here we can grab this item. And it's a stone sword key. And there's also a chest with another exiled soldier crossbow. Ah, he, he, he went down to the floor. And that's a prickle turtleneck. Now you can use this you can use this opportunity to take some pop shots at the grafted scion, wear down his health a little bit. But I'm gonna I'll use this I'll use this opportunity. To try and get some pop shots in, but 
can't guarantee I'll beat it, but it's worth a shot. I won't be able to get a good shot here. I, I won't be able to get a good shot at that. So we'll have to do it the hard way. Now, over here there's a door we can actually open. And there is an exile soldier. Ooh, dropped a spear. Alright, and over here in the kitchen, we have three commoners. And that crafted scion's already at drawn aggro. I can't loot the rest of these items yet, not until I get this guy out of the way. Alright, let me let me I can't craft. I need, I need to get out of combat first. Need to see if I have anything in my hotbar. Hmm, I can use these glintstone scraps I picked up back in the tunnels. Fire some magic projectiles. Get him hiding behind his shield. <laughs> and I've used up my FP, but that's okay. Alright, do I have. Alright, looks like I have to deal with. Not gotta get my FP back. Come on! Ah, that delay attack. Oh, you moved. Better be careful here. Oh, that's a tornado spit. Oh, damn. Oh. Sit down. We didn't get anything from the Grafted Scion, but he does not respawn, which is a good thing. Here's the Highland Axe. I believe this is what the exile, the exile warriors with the great with the axe are using. And right over here is an exalted flesh. <laughs> talk about talk about the place with. <laughs> all right, look at all these. All right, and over here we have oh, there's that exiled soldier that. Ah, just bolts. Some stanching boluses. And over here, just a couple mongrels to deal with. There's also some few items, and a key item that we're gonna need. Let's grab a golden room one. Lump of flesh. And right over here is the chrysalid's memento. We can actually give this to 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 the NPC, Rodrika. When we saw at the Stormhill Shack. All right, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But before we do, let's get a, let's get a layout of what we're gonna do next. I'm running out of time, so we're gonna go over here first. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this item, so just to get out of the way, somber smithing stone too. All right, and look at that portrait, that painting of. Godfrey, the first Elden, the first Elden Lord, and right up there is progression. All right, but now we're gonna unlock the shortcut. Take this elevator up. And here we are back at the Grace. Alright, and here we are. This is going to be our starting point. And to wrap up the episode, we're going to go to the Stormhill Shack and and give her the and give her the the Chrysalis Memento. A pleasure to see you. Did you give the lot I love? All right, let's give the Chrysalis Memento. What's this? A keepsake from my men. Oh. Me, I can't. They all, they all thought 
God. I think I'll head to perhaps I'll fall. I think perhaps I'll Alright, her dialogue is exhausted. So the next time we see her, she will be at round table hold. Let's reset and then and then fast travel to round table hold. And there she is. Greetings. My name isn't Miss Pearl. Around I never knew, although I'm still looking. Oh, and please allow forgiving. It was as if I was. You have my. And she gives us a golden seat. It's all of it. I'm still looking. It's all of it. I'm still looking. All right. Now, in order for her to find her purpose, we can talk to blacksmith. The blacksmith, Hugh. Well, I took you for dead. No matter. Lay out your arms, then. And we can tell her about. We can tell him about Rodrika. The girl you bought. She's crazy. She has it. I saw in her eye. So it appears that Rodrika has a has a has a gift for spirit tuning, and that's also important. We're gonna need. It's all of it. I'm still looking. We'll tell her what the blacksmith said. You're telling me. I don't believe. If I do, I suppose I'll ask my certainly. For I know he's. I can tell. All right. Now we gotta go back and talk to Hugh. <laughs> it's gonna make us go back and forth. Back or no matter. The girl. Would you watch over Rodrika? It's what she wants. I refuse. I don't... And now we gotta go back to Rodrika. <sighs> Making this go back and forth, back and forth. If I do, I suppose I'll ask my. If I suppose I'll ask my. All right. Now we just need to reset by resting. And now she will move down over here. And she is now available. For spirit tuning. Good to see you again. I have you to thank, don't I? I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble time as yet. But and if there's well, I certain Roderick. So now we can we now have the opportunity to spirit to do some spirit tuning, and all these all these ashes all these spirit ashes that we got, we can upgrade them now, and that's what the glove warts are for. Now the unique ones, the unique ones like Lutel and Banish Knight Angball, we require ghost glove warts. And they cost a little bit of more runes. And yeah, but if you really want to make use of these special, unique spirit ashes, you're definitely going to have to level up your mind a lot. Uh, at least about get it to twenty, twenty to twenty-five at best, if you're not going to be using a lot of magic. But just enough so that you can summon one of the one of these unique ones. Alright, and I believe that is all the time I got for this episode of the walkthrough. In our next episode, we're going to go continue more exploring of Stormvale Castle, and hopefully we can fight the, the demigod, Godric the Grafted. Alright guys, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. If you enjoy my content, if you're new to the channel and you love my content and would like to support me, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, stay up to date on all my latest activities. You've been meaning to tell me you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on some of the amazing content I have to offer. Trust me, your time will be worth it. I do have a Discord server that you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box. If you'd like to connect with me and my Starman fam, I post up these there as well. And trust me, we'll make you feel right at home. I do have a merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box if you'd like to browse through some Starman apparel. I would love to see you guys fly my flag. And if you would like to support me more personally, you can become a YouTube channel member just by clicking the join button, which I would call my VIPs. My VIPs, YouTube channel members, will We'll get a badge next to the screen name, access to my custom emotes so that you can use for my for my video premieres or live streams here on YouTube, and you'll get the first info on upcoming new content I plan to bring to the channel, and now I, and I even have some higher level tier perks that feature early access to my latest videos up to one week in advance and, and exclusive content. Thank you all so much for all the love and the support you have given me, it really does mean a lot, you guys are so amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for being part of this amazing community. I will catch you guys in the next episode of The Walkthrough. Remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile.